Hey guys, it's Ashley from Not A True Reviews and today we're unboxing the Misfits Market. Um, this is my second box for October. This is a weekly or bi-weekly, you get to select. Hello kitty. Um, uh, ugly produce subscription box. I unbox this on my channel every other week. It's one of my favorite boxes ever because it's a huge steal. Um, this is their larger madness box, it's $35. Um, you get, I think, 20 up to 22 pounds of produce. Everything's organic, non-GM. Oh, they do have a smaller box that's $22 that has like eight to 13 pounds. Um, it's just a really good all-around box. Why does it seem like it's so close? Anyway. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo, what else? They do have a limited area, but they're expanding. I just saw that they're somewhere new. I'll put that down in the description box, their delivery area, um, so that you guys can see that. Now, I do have a discount code, 25% off your first box, 25% off my next box, if you choose to use that. I mean, I did get an email today. Bobby Flay's Zucchini Pasta, they're uh, teaming up with Bobby Flay. He's gonna give you tips on how to use all the vegetables that you receive in your box. I really like this, because first of all, I love Bobby Flay. Anybody from the Food Network I trust, I've learned um, over the course of a few years, internet recipes lie. And they were sending out recipes in each box, but they were um, influencer recipes. And so, no offense guys, I don't necessarily trust you. So this looks like it's gonna be delicious. And very simple so yeah pasta salt pepper oil zucchini uh, garlic butter parmigiano -reggiano, and basil so that's super simple probably really easy to put together and then it's all there all right so anyway I did get to customize my box not everybody gets to do that but I do um, it, it's based on your location by the way if you're wondering I do pay for this box this is something I purchased um, the only reward I get for producing these videos is if you subscribe and I get that discount. That is not something that is uh, unique to me, though. <laughs> My kid. You could get that as well, everybody that subscribes. All right, so anyway, just to get that out of the way in case anybody out there is wondering. Ew, why does it feel slimy? Ew. All right. It was from the bag, not the food, though. That's odd. Gross. Gee, Rose, I don't like that at all. Anyway, all right, so first off, uh, this is some shard. This is rainbow shard. We love this. It's so easy to saute. Um, we just saute it in a pan with butter, salt, pepper, garlic. It's fantastic, and it's quick, unlike, you know, like collards or something that's a little heavier. So it looks like there's two bunches in here. Then we have whatever's in this box. Some tomatoes. These are vine tomatoes. I remember I, my, husband, my husband helped me pick and he picked that. So there's three in there and I'm guessing there's a few more in here. Probably making it a total of, yep, six. All right, so those are always wonderful to use in cooking and stuff like that. Uh, we've got some orange bell pepper. Everything is kind of slimy. I don't know. Everything needs to be really washed really well. Ugh. Two and three, but that's how food is, whatever. Not on it. And then we've got, what's this? Color is kale? I don't know what the color is. All right. Oh, it's green shard. I didn't select two different kinds of shard, but maybe they were. Ooh, so there's another bunch of shard. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's in everything. All right. We've got some yellow squash. Love those in foil packets in the summer on the grill, but now that it's getting a little cooler, it's fall. Uh, we just roast these in the oven. We did also get some at a mar farmer's market the other day as well. So we've got a lot of zucchini and squash right at the moment. All right. All right. How do I get this out of here? This is lettuce. So this is one bunch, small bunch of lettuce. And here is another small bunch of lettuce. Those are nice. I love those for my salad for lunch. I have been making, I actually today made um, arugula goat cheese, uh, just lemon juice and shallot. And I had it as a salad and it was superb. I loved it. So if you want easy, quick, delicious, if you're a honeymooner and you like a very simple salad, that's what somebody told me one time. That's the honeymooner salad that I like. Um, that's a really easy, simple one. All right. So here is a fourth orange bell pepper, just to put that out there. We've got limes, one, two, three, four, um, five, and is this a line? Holy smokes, that's a big line. Six, 
six limes in total. We've got two cucumbers. These are yummy. All right, then we've got, what else is in here? A little purple cabbage. I love, love, love cabbage salad. I think I say that every time I make these videos. And if you're curious how I make that, I simply cut it up, like shredded. Add some white wine or red wine vinegar. A little bit of dill if I want, if I feel like it. A little bit of onion if I feel like it. I mean, in my opinion, less is more. I think that that speaks for itself. It's delicious. It's nutritious. And then I have it with a protein for lunch. And that's a full meal for me. And I think it's really good. All right. So let's keep on keeping on here. We've got one, two, three carrots. Four, five, six carrots. Seven, eight carrots. So that is yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Acorn squash. If you are not familiar with this, because I know sometimes these boxes, it's really made us branch out. And because I've subscribed to it for so long, I have a ton of ways that we cook things that we figured out that we like. So for this, you slice it down um, and you quarter it basically, and then slice it thin and then lay it out in a baking pan. A little bit of oil, salt, pepper, and garlic if you like. Um, and just roast it and it is so phenomenal. It has such a beautiful, nutty, creamy. It's This is actually my favorite squash of all. It is just delicious. This is a smaller one, but you'd be surprised how far one of these goes. Um, I do like that these boxes usually have double of everything. That means that that's enough for a meal serving for my family because there are six of us. Um, but even with just one, this will get mixed probably with another squash or something like that and there you go. All right, so continuing, we have two more items left. So one is these two beets. I tell you guys every time I make these videos how I make my beets, I do a glaze. It's called a Harvard beet. You boil them for a while, you reserve a little bit of the water, then you mix it with some cornstarch, um, sugar, and vinegar, and let it kind of thicken up. And it is uh, just, just my favorite. My grandmother used to make them, and so it's very nostalgic for me. And these two, by the way, is huge serving. If you're gonna make some for yourself, you, this is great for meal prepping, like over the week, if you have to make lunch for yourself. Um, this is enough for probably at least three or four meals. So that's cool. Then there are six apples in here. I believe these are gala apples. They don't flee, but they're pretty. One, none of them say. So there are six apples. So for your $35 spend, you get your six apples, you get your eight carrots, your two cucumbers, your two beets, your acorn squash, your red, uh, cabbage, your six limes, your four orange bell peppers, I have to look at everything, your two yellow squash, your two heads of lettuce, your three heads of chard, and six tomatoes. I mean, that is amazing. Um, so anyway, if you're interested in checking out Misfits Market, I will link to them below. I will also link to my full review where I will go in depth as always. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.